Hey there, camera guys and gals. We've got a new one from Old School Vibes, and it's Ducky Dash. And you can grab this on Xbox as well as uh, Windows for $4.99. Uh, they're a new uh, Xbox uh, developer. So uh, if you're looking at this video, that, that's where you're going to find it. You're either going to find it on Windows or you're going to find it on the Xbox. And uh, it's well worth your money. It's sort of like Meat Boy. It's one of those type of uh, platformer puzzlers where you have to... You know, make your way to the end of the level and avoid spikes and traps and other things like that. There's also enemies on here. Uh, they change along the way. They start off with these birds. If you have a dash, you can uh, dash sideways, up, or even diagonal. And uh, you'll use this a lot. It's not a super challenging game. I don't think uh, you're going to throw in the towel on this one. I think uh, just about any age is going to, you know, be able to play this. Because if you die, there's no real penalty. You just pick up right in the same level that you were. There's uh, blocks like you see here that fall apart. There's spikes. There's stars. Uh, just a bunch of things, you know, getting away from you uh, finishing the level. And like I said, if you die, you just start right at the beginning. And all the levels are one screen. There's no, like, advancing two and three screens. So... It's it's fairly simple. It's uh, one I think most people is going to be able to finish, and most people are going to enjoy. It's not super long. There's 35 levels. That's one of those games I say you're going to beat in under an hour if you're kind of skilled at this. If not, it might take you a couple. But it's one of those games that's going to give you an evening of fun after school, after work, wherever you know you like to play your games. You know you can sit down and uh, you're going to finish this in one evening. And you're going to have a good time, and you're not going to mind at all because, you know, it's only $5. You didn't pay that much for it. Uh, like I said, I enjoyed my time with that. I, I thought it was a blast. Uh, I only died maybe a few times in the whole game. I, like I said, I don't think it's really all that challenging, and uh, but I do I do think it's a lot of fun. Uh, let me know if you, if you play it and what you think about it. There's a couple of Windows codes in the comments for giveaways. This company likes the giveaway uh giveaway codes and there's several that do that and I, I like that but the way i do it is i just leave them in the the comments or in the details of the game and uh, you know first come first serve i don't like that uh you know deal with reading comments and people thinking that you showed favoritism and who you gave it to or they're just put them there and whoever gets them gets them and uh sometimes they let us know they got them sometimes they don't uh, if, if you do get them, let me know. That I would like to know if you got it and if you're enjoying it. I like reading the comments. I like hearing how people are enjoying these games. You know, sometimes share that with the publisher if there are other people enjoying it as well. But I'm going to give it a decent score. Like I said, I had a good time with it. I had a fun. Uh, the achievements are all easy. It's just for finishing the levels. Finish all 35 levels to get all the achievements. But I'm going to give it a 6.8 out of 10. Definitely worth $5. Definitely worth your couple hours of your time. So check it out. Give it a play. Let me know if you enjoy it. Uh, I know I did. So hopefully you guys do as well. Thank you, Old School Fives, for sharing your art with us. Uh, we really had a good time with both the games that you shared with us so far. and look forward to doing more in the future. But until next time, guys, see you in the leaderboards.